Yo, what's up, my dudes? Thank you so much for stopping by and listen. There is so much to choose from on YouTube. I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out my content. When you get done watching this video, check out my other stuff, my other content. If you dig it, like, subscribe. Who knows? We may become best friends. I don't know about that, but you may dig some of my videos. Anyway, thank you on the video. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin, this is Movie Watch, and today we are starting a new weekly segment that I want to start doing, and I want to get you guys involved as well, uh, Movie Watch News Brief, where I take some stories, the type of stories and, and the type of content that I usually cover on the channel, but grab three or three to five stories and uh, kind of keep everybody updated um, on things you may have missed, whether it's uh, horror news, movie news, kind of nostalgic 90s, 80s kid news, uh, physical media, stuff like that. So uh, definitely hit me up on Instagram and DM me for any ideas you might have for stories. Help me keep up, help me help me help you, help me keep you guys updated, but I really, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And today I have four stories that I wanted to cover. Uh, a 4K release, two trailers, and the first story we're going to talk about is the Mad Balls action figures, which I am so stoked about. Um, if you're not familiar, Mad Balls was a super popular 80s toy that was super popular um, in the 80s with kids, and they were kind of these gross out novelty foam balls that had monsters with like blood and ooze and kind of gory stuff. Uh, dripping out of them. Back in the 80s, shit was a little bit more edgy. I don't know if you guys remember that, but everything's kind of mellowed out now. But back in the 80s, stuff geared towards kids had a, had a little bit more gnarly edge to it, and I really like that. Um, so if you haven't heard of Mad Balls, look them up, because they're pretty awesome. The one, the original ones that came out in the 80s and early 90s um, are pretty hard to find on eBay, but they actually reissued them a few years ago. I picked up these at Best Buy. Um, uh, I think that was like, God, it had to have been 2015, 2016, um, as a Best Buy exclusive, I think, and they came out with a Freddy, Alien, they had uh, the Leatherface here, um, Alien, and Predator. These things were just so freaking cool, and I, I picked up, I got a bunch of these um, when they were on clearance, but uh, now uh, Megalopolis has uh, announced they are releasing these exclusive, and this is wave one of Mad Balls action figures, um, which is so cool. The 80s phenomenon Mad Balls is back and better than ever. They're bringing, Megalopolis Toys is bringing back the classic Mad Balls with brand new wave of figures. So we got four characters coming in the force, in the four characters are coming back in the first wave. Uh, with Hornhead, Oculus Orbis, Bruce Brother, and Splitting Headache. Uh, Splitting Headache will be the highlight of the wave as it's the first time he will be getting his very own action figure. Now these things are so cool. They're a little pricey for the full, full set. They're running $139 for the full set. But these things are so cool looking. I guess they have interchangeable parts, fully posable kind of arms and legs. These things look so cool and I kind of want to break the bank and just buy the whole set. These things are so badass. Um, they're $35 each or you can get the whole set for I think it was $129 or $139. Um, they brought back the original designer of the original 80s Mad Balls to come back and redesign these figures and they are so cool. Um, I am def If I don't get the whole set, I'm definitely going to snag uh, a couple of them because they are just so cool. They'd be so badass to have on the shelf because like I said, I got a bunch of these in there really cool to uh, to display so um, that is super cool they actually went up for pre-order um, August 1st um, and I actually just found out about these a couple days ago I didn't even know they were they were out so definitely if you were into Mad Balls in the 80s and that, that's something that interests you you'll definitely want to look into getting these Mad Balls premium figures uh, from Megalopolis uh, it's an exclusive to them you can put in your pre-order now and get those shipped um, I think they said they won't be shipping until um, uh, early 2021, but I imagine these will sell out. The other ones did, uh, so definitely look at this um, as they are pretty cool. So next up is the trailer news. We have two trailers that dropped, uh, one being Tales from the Hood 3, the other being The Haunting of Blind Manor. Tales from the Hood 3 is obviously the third installment in the Tales from the Hood series, the first premiering in 1995, so this marks the 25th anniversary of this first movie with the premiere of Tales from the Hood 3. Um, 
and uh, it'll be dropping on Blu-ray and DVD and digital on October 6th and on the Sci-Fi Channel, the Sci-Fi Network, later in October. The second trailer that was released, which I cannot wait for this series, is The Haunting of Bly Manor, which is the continuation of Mike Flanagan's anthology series on Netflix. The first season was The Haunting of Hill House, which if you have not seen The Haunting of Hill House, I cannot recommend that show enough. It was such a good blend of really unique storyteller, storytelling, character development, and honestly some really scary moments that happened in that show. I highly recommend checking out Haunting of Hill House. Um, but now we have The Haunting of Bly Manor, the second season in that. Now the first one was based on Shirley Jackson's 1958 novel, uh, The Haunting of Hill House, and the new season, The Haunting of Bly Manor, is loosely based on The Turn of the Screw. So it looks awesome. Like I said, I reacted to both these trailers in kind of a mashup, double feature trailer reaction video that you guys can check out and watch those trailers. Definitely check it out. They look awesome. La uh, finally, our next story, last but not least, is huge news in the 4K world. Total Recall is getting a 4K release, a couple different releases actually. I am so excited about this. Paul Verhoeven's classic futuristic action thriller kind of horror movie Total Recall. Now this is the 30th anniversary. Uh, the original Total Recall, not the remake of course, came out June 1st of 1990 and is honestly a masterpiece. Paul Verhoeven of course did Total Recall, Showgirls, Basic Instinct, Robocop, and he just did so many timeless like classic movies. And this is actually getting a couple different releases. So we're getting a Steelbook, we're getting a Standard Edition, and we're getting a five disc special edition from Studio Canal um, that is a Region B release, but I believe it's region free. Uh, if I screw that up, let me know in the comments because this is a collaborative effort here. Let me know if I screw something up. I'll always correct it. But um, I think it is a all uh, region release. Uh, Total Recall is restored to 4K from its 35 millimeter negative and it will have Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos and the restoration has been supervised by Paul Verhoeven. So this thing is going to look and sound amazing. Uh, street date is December 8th in the US and November 23rd in the UK. We'll have a never before seen exclusive documentary and two brand new featurettes. Um, I'll put them up here so you can read them, but some include Total Act, Total Excess, How Koroko Changed Hollywood, Paul, uh, Paul Verhoeven and Arnold Commentary, the, the Special Effects of Total Recall, The Making of Total Recall. It looks like it's packed with special features. So coming off the Beetlejuice 4K, which was extremely lacking in special features, it's nice to see that uh, these old catalog titles are getting the special feature treatment that they deserve. Um, and also from Studio Canal will be coming a massive box set collection featuring the Ultra HD and the two Blu-rays, uh, two CD soundtrack, six art cards, a 48 page booklet and a double sided poster. So this is huge in the world of 4K releases. I'm so glad this is finally getting a 4K release. Uh, definitely let me know if you will be picking that up. So that's it for my news brief. And like I said, this is something I want to start doing more on a regular basis. This was kind of a rough version of what it will be. I still have my table set up for my trailer reaction. I didn't want to move the camera so I'll actually be filming this in a little bit different way but um, I definitely want to try to do a weekly news brief and like I said hit me up on Instagram the DMs if there's anything you feel like I should include in my news brief for the week um, and uh, I'll try to include it um, so definitely follow me on Instagram the movie watch daily I'll put it right here movie underscore watch underscore daily um, so and if this is your first time here check out my other videos I just did an unboxing I just did a three video kind of series on Beetlejuice with the 30th anniversary vinyl soundtrack, the gift set unboxing, and then the 4K review. So a bunch of good Beetlejuice stuff. If you are a Beetlejuice fan, check that out. Think about subscribing. I have so much cool stuff coming up. As I said in another video, I'm doing 31 days of Halloween. So in October, I will be posting a video every single day in October, whether it's a movie review, um, physical media update. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. I, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so I'm really excited for the 31 days of Halloween. I'll be including a lot of different kind of things, whether it be a movie review or a, a trailer review when it drops. Some kind of content, uh, horror related content, will be dropping every day in October. And Pete might be in a couple of the videos. 
So, all right guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that classic stuff. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them and I love making them. Nah, I can't do it.